What I found to be very interesting, as you're gonna see from Kyrie Irving, is his sheer honesty through the media saying that this team still needs to improve. Now look, it's a five game road trip that they just came off of. Obviously, with that being said, it's like, oh, I just wanna sleep in my bed. <laughs> like, I feel that. Um, so Kyrie Irving was talking about what the Celtics need to do to get better. And here's what he said. We come out and clearly we outmatch teams at dang near every position. We have a lot of good players and when I say outmatch, I mean in terms of the groups we have out there, we pretty much have a mismatch every time out there down the floor. I agree with that. So it comes with discipline. It comes with understanding. It comes with experience. It's a big word for me in this one. Of just being on a team like this, we can't have empty possessions. So whoever is shooting the shot, if they feel like it's a great shot, then we all have to feel comfortable with it. Looking at this locker room, me being in my eighth year, I can't believe it's his eighth year already, and being a veteran, as well as Al Horford, Aaron Baines, right now I think it would be nice if we had someone that was a 15-year vet, a 14-year vet, that could kind of help us race along the regular season and understand it's a long marathon rather than just a full out sprint, full on sprint. When you wanna play, when you wanna do what you wanna do, it's all about attitude and effort. That's all it is. All right, so we did a story on a veteran previously mm -hmm. who is going to be released from a team. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame, although he hasn't been good in probably about three to four years. His name is Carmelo Anthony. I mean, does it not ring a bell when he's like, we need a veteran? In his 14th year. Like, he's not talking about freaking Juwan Howard. Like, he's talking about Carmelo bleeping Anthony, who's going to be available probably within the next few days. So think about maybe the other ones, though. This is the thing. <clears throat> I hear you. But what he's looking for is some mental stability in the locker room on the floor. Like he said, to know that it's a marathon. All these things that younger guys may not know. He's in his eighth year, but he's kind of, he's in the prime, right? So yep. he's like, I'm not, I don't have the time to be the mental crutch. I'm here to be the physical leader. So I don't want to talk about this garbage with these guys. I know it, but I don't have the time. Right. Is Carmelo Anthony a mental stable no. person to put in a locker room? No. So that's why I, that's, that I, was, I just see this screaming Carmelo Anthony, and I, no, I don't because, like him on the Celtics. No, I like Carmelo Anthony, but if he's at the point where he's the end of his career, which it seems like it is, and he's the old guy to come and help, his mindset is still that he's in his third, fourth year, and he's got the headband on, and he's in Denver. So that's where his mind is. So his mind needs right. to accept that maybe he's at the end of his career for him to be that guy. You know what's amazing is that LeBron James is one year younger than Carmelo Anthony. Think about that. He's 33 years old. Carmelo's 34. And Carmelo, as I stated previously, probably hasn't been good since he was 31. I mean, it shows the dominance of LeBron. Yeah. Uh, Here's my perfect scenario for Carmelo Anthony, by the way, because it's not on the Boston Celtics. My perfect scenario is going to the worst team in the NBA and just doing whatever he wants to do. <laughs> I like, yeah, j like ha have the Kobe to Jason Tatum advice. Like, all right, pass the ball, but mainly shoot it. Like, that's what I want to see from Carmelo Anthony. Who, who's the worst team in the NBA right now? Give me any team. Throw out a team. Well, I don't know if they're the worst. Huh? Cle Cleveland's a Hawks. Cleveland's perfect. in a bad place. Go back to the Hawks. Take away possessions from Trey Young. Cleveland. Go on your one-year no, cycle you're gonna, and just shoot whatever no, you want. What team is give me, give enough, me another team. We're thinking outside of record, but they're probably bad too. Cleveland. So you want to go there? Where go to they're, Cleveland. They're in turmoil yeah. from top to bottom, right? Yeah. Stunt and the growth you don't of Teddy Osmond. Yeah, you don't want to stunt the growth of, of, of Trey Turner. I mean, come on. It's, Trey it's, Turner. I'm sorry. <laughs> Trey Turner. <laughs> I'm thinking about <laughs> I'm thinking about baseball. <laughs> I guess I saw a trade in my head. Don't Sorry. want to stunt the growth of a baseball player. <laughs> yes, he's pretty quick anyway, too. He is. He's very quick. So you don't want to stunt everyone's growth on teams that with guys look promising. The Cleveland Cavaliers aren't going anywhere right now. No, no, not at all. So just they're gonna get the number I one pick. I don't pick. like this idea at all in the first place. They're tanking for Zion. But That's I what also they don't think do. they should he should go to any bad team and start just No, he should go to a bad team and just chuck That's 30 footers. Idea. That's what I'd love to see. Perfect scenario. Uh, Boston Celtics, don't make the call. Let us know your thoughts. Comment section below. Subscribe to TYT Sports. Do you guys want full TYT episodes? Yeah! So download YouTube TV and get a seven-day free week trial.